mal Kelly kommt. Okay. I don't know the 
We owe many thanks to the people who have helped us get here today. And as a class, we'd like to thank Mr. Woosencraft for all the extra effort he has put forth for all of us. We'd like to thank the faculty who made it quite difficult for us to graduate. But nevertheless, we are still here today, so we owe the faculty a big thank you for doing a good job. We'd like to thank the custodial staff for making Menominee Falls High School a place to be proud of. We'd like to thank the lunch ladies for keeping us well fed during our quarantine. And we'd like to thank our parents, friends, and all of our relatives here today. 
for giving us support in all that we have done. Without the help of all these people we have just mentioned, we could have never made it here today. But the class of 95 still forgot one big thank you, yourselves. Each and every one of you needs to thank yourself for all the hard work that you have put in to be able to sit here today. There was no easy path to get here, but every one of us has succeeded. And all the hard work will shine through today when we walk across this stage to receive our diplomas. The hard work has finally paid off. And tomorrow, when we wake up in the morning, we will no longer be high school students. We will be graduates from a school known for its excellence in academics and athletics. Today we are a bonded group, a class. Tomorrow we will become separate individuals on our own journeys. But we will never forget what we learned here from our class or the lessons that we learned from Menominee Falls High School. Everything we have learned here has been a building block to our future. This is why as each of us shakes Mr. Woosencraft's hand today, we will also be giving him a building block, a Lego. Each separate Lego symbolizes that we may be breaking apart and going on our separate ways, but we will never forget that everything we have learned here will carry on into the rest of our lives. Mr. Woosencraft will keep the bowl filled with each of our Legos in his office to show that we may never be in one big group like this ever again, but in our hearts and in our minds and in that Lego bowl, we will never be very far apart. <laughs> As we proceed on our separate paths in life, remember that life is too short to take one minute for granted. Every day of your life, strive to be, be the very best that you can be. That way, at the end of your life, you will have no regrets. Thanks for all the fond memories, Class of 95. Congratulations and best wishes. I hope that each and every one of us uses our building blocks to build an extraordinary future. Good luck. What is it? On top it says excellence, and on the plaque it says from the class of 95, so always remember us. <laughs> Mr. Diddle, please come up here again. He's our senior class advisor, and uh, give a few gifts for him. We have a gift certificate for Jay's Sporting Goods because he's a big fisherman. Yeah. And we have an Afghan forum that says Gone Fishing. That, uh, oh. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Dr. Gene Shaw. Superintendent of Schools. Graduates, parents, friends, each graduating class has its own unique character or personality. Each class is different from the classes before. You, the class of 1995, are also special. Mr. Wusenkraft and others describe you as a class that cares. You care about each other, about your school, and about your community. You have demonstrated this caring throughout your school career, but in your <coughs> school, your genuine concern for each other has become your special characteristic. What is caring? Caring to some is a word that seems soft. It is a concept that lacks discipline, precision, and boundaries. Yet, it is a word universally acknowledged as necessary in the lives of all individuals, families, and communities. Caring is fundamentally about relationships between individuals. Caring involves the ways in which you have protected and supported the rights and interests of others. Caring means commitment, participation, concern, and acceptance of others. 
As your superintendent, I take special pride in Mr. Wusenkraft's description of the 1995 graduates as caring. It is the mission of the school district of Menominee Falls to care about its children. Caring is not a substitute for learning. Rather, caring means high expectations, challenging students, teachers, and each other to be better. Better learners, better teachers. Whether we admit it or not, caring is necessary for learning in schools. We know in Menominee Falls, caring is useful because it creates an atmosphere for learning. But we don't care because it's useful. We care because only in a caring community can adults and children together explore and practice basic common civility, a civic virtue essential to democratic society and basic human life. We care because we know that when parents, teachers, and students view one another as partners, a community forms around students and the community work of education begins. We care as a school district because we know that we must develop young people with a strong capacity for caring about others. This is a major goal of responsible public education, to educate citizens that care about their community. In Menominee Falls, we want better public schools. We know we have good schools, but not good enough. But we do not want or need an educational revolution. What we need in our schools is people who not only learn, but also live moral lives. In successful schools everywhere, now and in the past, there has always been an ever-present single variable. Good schools care about children. And that school's children care about each other their teachers, and their community. Caring is not the latest educational fad. Rather, it is a basic, timeless value. Today, we take special pride in this caring class of 1995. Your class has received more scholarships and more recognition for your accomplishments than any other previous class. Your class has won five North Shore Conference Athletic Championships. Your class is among the highest in the state and nation in the ACT test scores. Your class has high rates of participation in school and extracurricular activities. Your class has achieved outstanding community involvement. You are a model of community service, service to Menominee Falls High School, service to cleaning up the Menominee Falls River, service for organizing and running the Senior Citizen Prom, and many other activities. You may have the largest student council in the state. It is a student council that emphasizes service to others by raking leaves for senior citizens, tutoring younger students, or helping the handicapped. Most importantly, you have demonstrated caring to each other and to your teachers. Mr. Wusikraft describes you as the class of 1995 to be the most compassionate class that he has worked with. I am proud of you today because of who you are and what you have become. I am proud of your many accomplishments and the excellence of your academic achievement. I am proud because you are described as caring. And you are caring because your parents and your families nurtured you and modeled caring for you on a daily basis. You are a caring class because your teachers cared enough to challenge, discipline, and teach you. Most importantly, you are a caring class because you have demonstrated support and kindness to each other and the community. You have achieved the ultimate mission of the Menominee Falls Public Schools. You have become the finest possible citizens, and the proud graduates of 1995. Congratulations. Thank you for caring. I'd like to introduce Amy Cole, the class officer.
friends, and faculty members for sharing this special day with us. As we sit here today, each with our own thoughts regarding graduation, we will be entering a world where we will have more freedom as well as more responsibility. How we deal with these choices is both frightening and exciting. I'd like to read to you a list of the don'ts and do's that will always see you through by Martin Colin McCarty. Don't ever stop dreaming your dreams. They're a very essential part of you. Do whatever you can to make them a reality by the course you take, the plans you make, and the things that you do. Don't dwell on past mistakes. Leave yesterday behind you along with any of its problems, worries, and doubts. Do realize you can't change the past, but just ahead is the future, and you can do something about that. Don't try to accomplish everything at once. Life can be difficult enough without adding frustration to the list. Do travel one step at a time, and reach for one goal at a time. That's the way to find out what real accomplishment is. Don't be afraid to do the impossible, even if others don't think you'll succeed. Do remember that history is filled with incredible accomplishments of those who are foolish enough to believe. Don't forget that there are so many things that are wonderful, unique, and rare about you. And do remember, if you can reach within and find a smile, that smile will always be a reflection of the way people feel about you. Today I want you to think of the past only long enough to learn from it. And I hope you'll glance ahead to the future only for a fleeting dream you hope will come true. Today is your day, your moment in time. Make it work for you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Janiel Brown, a class officer. Don't let anyone hold your happiness in their hands. 
Hold it in yours, so it will always be within your reach. Don't measure success or failure by material wealth, but by how you feel. Our feelings determine the richness of our lives. Don't let bad moments overcome you. Be patient and they will pass. Don't hesitate to reach out for help. We all need it from time to time. Don't wait for what you want to come to you. Go after it with all that you are, knowing that life will meet you halfway. Don't feel like you've lost when plans and dreams fall short of your hopes. Anytime that you learn something new about yourself or about life, you have progressed. Don't do anything that takes away from your self-respect. Feeling good about yourself is essential to feeling good about life. And don't ever forget how to laugh or be too proud to cry. It is by doing both that we live our lives to the fullest. In closing, I want to wish the graduating class of 1995 all the success and the happiness in the world. Congratulations, graduates. I'd like to introduce Brian Rocha, class officer. We come here today to honor the end of an era. Required education is finally over, and it's time to leave the security of Anomaly Falls. We will no longer be sheltered from the real world. Our generation is going to be forced to deal with the problems that those before us have created. Problems such as nuclear holocaust, famine, poverty, and AIDS. These are the problems that are going to affect our generation. There are two ways to view our future. First, we can see our future as frightening and stick our head in the sand. Or, we can take our future head on find solutions and create change. I challenge you, the class of 1995, to make a change. Don't sit back and wait for things to happen. You make them happen. Don't be passive about life. Go after life and get what you want out of it. Life is too short to be afraid of failure. When your life is coming to close, be able to say, I tried, not what if. There isn't anything you can't do. Exceed the limitations set by society. If you want to change the world, change it. If you want to accomplish a dream, accomplish it. The only one who can keep you from succeeding is you. We live in the greatest country in the entire world. Let's not take it for granted. So take your opportunities, twist them and turn them into anything you want. Dare to live. Mrs. Carolyn Baker. Thank you, Matt. We're here today to celebrate the graduation of this class of 1995. Look around at all the people. They're here for you today. You're an exceptional group of young men and women. It's an exceptional class. I've had the opportunity to have many of you in class during the last four years. I've watched you grow. I've watched you mature. I've watched you learn. Some of you um, were challenged by that learning. Some of you uh, struggled with that learning, but you've made it. As I look back over the years that I've taught here in Menominee Falls High School, I think about the classes that have graduated. And there are always some classes that we think about, usually for the good things that they've done. You are an outstanding class. You're a class that we'll remember as the years go by. I can say with confidence that you will be in our thoughts years from now as you're off in college. Not only are you talented academically, but you've made names for yourselves through athletics, music, extracurricular activities, and through service to the community. You have made my job as a teacher enjoyable. Most days. Thank you. <laughs> your, your future lies before you. As you leave here today, each of you will follow a different path. Don't wander aimlessly. Set some goals to work toward. Know where you're heading. This path may not be smooth and it might not always be easy to follow. Things won't always go as planned. You may make mistakes along the way. 
but stay on that path. Walk one step at a time by working hard, continuing to learn, and achieving as you go. Walk down that path with your head held high, with faith, confidence, and with the determination that you will achieve your goals. As you're walking, take time to enjoy life, enjoy the people you love, and the beauty of the world around you. Sometimes there's so much negativity in the, in the things that we see around the world that we forget how fortunate we are. Be thankful for all the good things that you have and the potential that you've been blessed with. And lastly, before you begin this journey, I have an assignment for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. Um, it's due no later than a week from today. And this is what you're supposed to do. As you're writing the thank you notes for the gifts that you're going to receive today, take out two extra thank you notes. Address one of the cards to Menominee Falls High School in care of a teacher, a staff member, or an administrator that has made a difference in your life during your schooling. The second, the second one, address to someone who's been instrumental in your upbringing, a parent, parents, grandparents, an aunt, an uncle. This person did the best that they could to raise you. This person was someone who loved you, supported you, and held your hand as you made mistakes along the way. This someone will celebrate with you today. Parenting is not an easy task, as I'm sure many of you will find out in the years to come. They need to know that they're appreciated. I hope that as you follow this path to your future, you will always find the strength to stand up for what you believe in, the courage to do the right thing, and above all, the knowledge that you, the class of 1995, can make a difference. Good luck to all of you. I would like to recommend that the senior class be graduated. I'd like to introduce our principal, who's done an outstanding job for the past four years, and every year he has been here, Mr. Richard Lusencraft. You have given us a wonderful group to work with. 
They're truly an outstanding group of young people. But I'd also like to recognize the class officers behind me. They have worked behind the scenes all year long preparing for this day. And their leader, Matt Collins, has done an outstanding job. And I appreciate all the help they've given me. And lastly, yet most importantly, you, the class of 1995, and as I told you in rehearsal, and I'll tell you today in the presence of all these people, I would recommend any one of you for a job, for a school, for a technical school, or for the military. And I doubt if there's any other principal that can look upon a graduating, their graduating class and say that kind of thing. I'd like to recognize two young people today that are graduating who are responsible for the banner behind us, Laura Striggins and Joe Shimmy. These young people have given countless hours to the school with their artistic ability. They have done a beautiful mural in the hallway, and they've had every senior sign it because that's what they thought was the right thing to do. And to you, the class of 1995, whose future is bright and your success very sound. And as a close friend of mine always says to me, never forget when I'm involved in a very small town. It's quick to point out, however, it's because of that small town that we are able to give great community support, great parent input and support, a wonderful caring staff teachers, custodians, cooks, secretaries, and teacher aides, and obviously wonderful students. And it's because of those wonderful students that I stand here before you today and say that as adults, we have probably learned as much from this class as they have from us. You've taught us to care enough to volunteer. You've taught us to care for our peers. You've taught us that the school to work transition really does work, and much, much more. But now, time to move on. We are saddened by this fact, but happy to know that the adult world is getting a wonderful new group. And I am confident that you will succeed in whatever you do. And I'm confident knowing that you will make all of us and all those who supported you proud. So on behalf of all of us here today and all those who have supported you, we wish to thank you, class of 1995, and thank you and your parents and guardians for making my job and all of our jobs here at Monami Falls High School rewarding and satisfying. Now this time you must go. Remember, wherever your career, your travels, or your schooling takes you, always take a little of Monami Falls with you. And now I am pleased and honored to present to you, the audience here today, a true gift to our future, the class of 1995, Will you please step forward to be recognized?
Heather E. Whitman. Mark J. Walling. Amy C. Waisaki. Bethany E. Zappa.
Herbert's hat. Oh, yeah.
I see there's two and a half rows left.
I'd like to give the sign of graduation by moving the tassel on our caps from the left to the right. Beautiful day. There's Ken. Just before you were ready to come on, Ken, to get your diploma, uh -huh. the battery started flashing. So I quick shut it off and I still got you. I got the gunner and I got uh, Brian. But I got you guys going up to uh, Oosencraft. Some of his football. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I gotta get you. Hey, I gotta get you admiring your cake and stuff there. Holy cats! Beautiful. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. We get down close here and get the balloons too, Grandpa. Yeah. Got that one. I don't think I got. There you go. Put the floor in there. Yeah. Oh, she was in my Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I found one with a cat on it. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, oh, 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 we're still in. Yeah, oh, I know. I know. I was almost going to call before yeah. I came back here. Because then I would go here and through the hospital. Yeah, right, right. Well, we're hoping to go from here to the hospital. That would be really That'd be great. Hi, Molly. Hi, Megan. Hi, Molly. How are you? Come say hi. 
ceremonies today and wouldn't you know just before Kenny was supposed to come on the battery started oh, really? but I got him okay. I, I held off enough <laughs> good. good I should get my camera and take a picture I think I'd love to do that yeah did you meet yep. us yeah we just did he and Gary and the three great grandchildren Kenny uh -huh. just went out to greet them Oh my goodness, is he getting big? Oh no, you can I'm in your way now. That's all right. Well, you don't need my rear end again. <laughs> Hi, Brett. Can you smile? Up. That's kind of oily there, Missy. Don't let him sit in that. You'll never get that clean. Well, you know what? I know. Here comes Tara. You see? Oh, well, by the other kids. See, they're playing baseball, otherwise you get hurt. Eh? <coughs> well, let's see, Ken, it's quarter after seven. Them darn clouds been around for a good hour and a half and it's cool. As you know, some people have left already. And Grandpa's barfing up here on, oh, not barfing, you're, you're scarfing up. I'm scarfing up some more. Another of this piece of rhubarb pie. Rhubarb pie, and there's a roof. Oh, yeah, there there's is. a roof. Thanks for coming. 